So, I've nearly completed a project which adds a missing element to my home haunt. I'm creating a panel out of leftover styrofoam and an unused scene set or Klingon to make a cover for my front door, which unlike the yard, is nowhere close to being creepy. Any kid that makes it onto my porch, and not all do, deserves some candy, but I want there to be one more chill and hesitation before they decide to ring that doorbell. When they come face to face with my glowing hallway scene, I want them to second guess and have this thought run through the back of their mind. Do I really want to risk this, not knowing what the hell could be behind this door? Without giving it much thought, I just grabbed a nearby bottle of rubber cement to stick the two together. It puckered the plastic film at first, but uh, it did eventually lay flat and smooth once finally dry. I trimmed off the excessive clear plastic film around the scene setter so that I could use a marker to draw out the perspective lines using the original art as a guide. This went pretty well, though I did make a mistake on the bottom right where the wall and stairway meet. Um, I missed the lowest boundary edge. But I'm sure that those crisscross lines will disappear once the panels get painted. So, can you see yourself walking into this hallway yet? So I think I've got the uh, perspective lines drawn out pretty well. Got more stairs added in and the ceiling finished off. I'm going to try and make it look a little more realistic more dimensional. I'm going to take a uh, soldering iron and I'm going to melt away the grout lines. So, What's next? Uh, everything's a little too squared up on the uh, cuts I made with the old soldering iron, so I'm going to go ahead and round the corners to make it match the original uh, a little better. Don't you just love watching things in fast motion? Okay, well this door panel is coming along pretty nicely. I think it'll work out well, and it'll look pretty realistic and spooky once it's painted. I might put a flashing light there in the doorway. Maybe a silhouette of a figure. We'll just have to wait and see. I like it pretty well right now anyway. Using a heat gun to add a little texture in case the paint job fails to. Before starting this project, I went and saw a mad scientist and had myself cloned, obviously. Uh, my double does a better job and works much faster than I ever could. This allows me to sit back oh, and enjoy the process and offer artistic advice. Wait, you missed a spot right there. Okay, well I guess I forgot to videotape the part where I was doing the faux painting to try and match the uh, stone block look to the original uh, plastic artwork that I had attached here. Um, gosh, it looks good enough for me. It's going to look really great at night. So I just used my own mix of paints. I had some whites and blacks left over and mixed some grays together. And I just used this textured foam roller brush to kind of just stamp it on there. and and dry brushed it out a little bit. I decided to use a magnetic system to attach the panel to the front door. Uh, but since my door is wooden and not metal, I had to adhere the magnets to each surface. Um, 
I permanently glued them to the panel, but used rubber cement on the door so that they and the glue could be removed without causing damage. <laughs>